Okay, take 103. So yes, I've been gone for a little while. Yes, stuff has happened. Let's get into it. Number one, Citizen Gamer on YouTube has mentioned my channel. Gave me a nod. Don't know why. Don't think he realized he was going to tarnish his reputation. Don't blame the guy. Moving on. If you haven't watched Failure to Report's new stuff, watch it. His content's fantastic. He brings up a lot of contentions. Good. That's out of the way. The whole, we're not selling land. We're, we're selling land. Well, no, we're selling beacons. Well, no, no, we're selling um, parcel claims. Uh, no, we're selling protection from the UEE. Land insurance. Did, God, I, I'm with Failure to Report on this one, guys. Just man up. CIG just man up. Like, yeah, we're selling dirt. And just milk away. Milk it for everything it's worth. There's people that are just going to love you to death. It doesn't matter what you do. Uh, next thing. Oh, 3.0 got released to another PTU sweep and, um, you can get in now if you want to. Anybody can get in. You just got to buy a starter package and <clears throat> subscribe. So pay them extra cash so you can back the game to pay extra money to, to, to play it. Yeah. That's not an insult. Somewhere in there. That's not an insult. I'm sure people will come in and help that. Uh, white knights, please just help, help me just smooth that over a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moving on. So my in the title of the video i don't think star citizen is going to be that much fun i'll be honest with you and you're going to ask well why why can't it be the best thing ever and i'm gonna tell you why because it has morphed away from what it used to be and let's talk tier systems let's talk everything else and pay to win and now you're looking at on top of everything you're gonna do so space trucking bounty hunting mining everything you're gonna have a few contentions you gotta you gotta work with now you have to worry about food probably water bathroom use and shower use so yes, you heard me correctly. So people who say, oh, well, you know, Elite Dangerous, for instance, is the one that Star Citizen hates for some reason. Citizens cannot stand it when you talk about Elite Dangerous. So anyway, let's get that ship underway. Uh, people say Elite Dangerous. Well, citizens say Elite Dangerous is a mile wide and inch deep. Okay, so in case you haven't put it all together, Star Citizen is going to play like Elite Dangerous, except you can get out of your ship. Sounds cool until you find out what they want to do with that. The, uh, the EVA sounds great. The uh, FPS sounds great, you know, but when you start thinking about stuff, they talk about the life simulator crap they've added, plus the other things you have to do that's a complete headache. Uh, let's just take like a gameplay loop from Elite Dangerous. Let's do cargo or a data mission. You boot the game up, you're in your ship, period. You either load cargo instantaneously or you get data missions. Cool. You plot your out. You fly out. You go there, you fly forever, you go to your destination, you request landing, you dock, you instantly get rid of your cargo and get your profit, or you turn in your mission, your data, and you get paid. Cool. Done. However, Star Citizen's way. You're going to boot up Star Citizen. You're going to start in your little pod or your bed. You're going to have to physically get up, physically go to a terminal, request your ship to spawn. If you're going to do cargo, you have to physically go to the cargo place, wherever the hell it's going to be, and buy cargo. And then either A, manually load. Yes, manually load each box onto your ship or pay NPCs to do it. And now you have a timer running for when you get to play your game. So you get to play your game to get a timer to play your game. Totally fun. And don't get me wrong here, I want to interject. Putting boxes on my ship is going to be cool, immersive for the first couple of times. After that... I, it's going to be too big of a headache. So I'm just going to NPC it. So timer. Now we're going to skip ahead a little bit. And we're going to talk about when you land in star citizen, you're going to request landing and then land and then turn off your ship and then unload the cargo by hand or hire NPCs and you get another timer or more than likely have to run to your mission, the mission receiver, I guess you would call them and hand deliver the data or probably even worse. What they're probably going to plan to do is have you get in the vehicle planet side and drive or fly somewhere and then turn it in to get paid sounds kind of rough well let me add in some other stuff now i uh, mentioned when i talked about food and probably water and bathroom and shower well guess what let's say you're in the aurora so now that you've hand loaded your cargo and you're on your way flying forever you get hungry well okay i brought food i can eat now crap okay well now I've probably got a drink and then on top of that i've got to take a dump so i use my disposable bucket cartridge whatever take a dump in my roar throw it out the airlock no 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 biggie uh, right before I, I land i get a little thing pop up like the sims i need to take a shower great so i'm gonna land and uh instead of go unload the cargo or hire to have it unload i uh, i get to go run to the public shower facilities and pay a fee to take a shower you know they talked about disadvantages of not getting paid as much for the mission or the cargo or not even being able to get in missions if you don't take a shower enough because that's that's immersive right so anyway that's out of the way. 
but ooh, I didn't talk about the other stuff you have to do. Um, it's like you take damage in Elite Dangerous. You're in the menu, you go down to fix, and you're done. It's instantaneous. Your, your ship's fixed. Star Citizen? No. No. You're going to have to land, run to Dumper's Depot or wherever, hire somebody to fix it, and then you got to wait. Or you could try to do it by yourself. Interactive minigame. Kind of like loading cargo. It's going to be cool the first couple times. Oh, that I mentioned you had to bet refueling. Yeah, you're going to have to wait to get refueled too. Uh, Elite Dangerous is instantaneous, but uh, Star Citizen, you, that timer is going to come back. Yep, you get to watch that timer again. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably be able to refuel yourself, but hey, I mean, that's... God. God, and then... I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm looking at that every which way I can, but I'm, I'm looking at basically I'm going to be watching timers. Even if I could do it all at the same time, even if I could hire them to load the cargo, hire them to fix the ship, and hire to refuel the... And don't forget ammo. I'm going to have to run to, I guess, the little... Was it the cubby hole firearms and get more ammunition? Because now I've got to worry about my own personal armor, my own personal oxygen, my own personal hyper, you know, the health syringe. And God, it's just, it's going to be, well, I want to play Star Citizen. I've only got an hour. I can't play tonight because it takes 25 minutes to set up for the mission. It takes 45 minutes to do the mission. And then I've still got to have 25 minute. I got 25 minute decompression time where I have to refuel, refit, rearm, <laughs> take a dump, take a shower, go get something to eat. It's like, no, like that's, that's not fun, guys. And you can throw Elite Dangerous under the bus. I mean, honestly, when people do that, you're also throwing in, you know, Freelancer under the bus, X3 under the bus. There's so many games that are just, God, it just, it's a never-ending cycle. And that's what gets me is, like, people keep defending CIG. Like, seriously, I, I don't understand it. And and it gets to the point now where, like, I'm, I'm looking back at some of my old videos, and I guess that's why I'm still posting. Like, I, I was actually done, but I keep, people keep commenting and just keep... God, guys. And I guess the one that's, that's kind of bugged me for a little while now, I haven't really mentioned it because I didn't want to give the guy any attention, but he's pretty much gone now. He's deleted his stuff. I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I've done programming. Not pretty, not much. Those are my exact words, but I've done it. And the amount of people that jumped on me telling me that, you know, one guy was telling me that it was probably HTML and it was just nothing related. And then to tell the guy, well, no, I'd done C Sharp and C++. I'd learned C++ and then updated to C Sharp and then done some Java. That comment got deleted, and then there's people keep asking the same questions. I wonder if it's the same person just wasting my time. But I actually had one guy jump on there, and no joke, wanted my resume, wanted my personal information, my previous employers, all the training I'd gotten, when I had gotten it, and uh, basically to, to have an opinion on his game, quote unquote his game, I had to have uh, personal recommendations from other people in in the field of programming. Yeah. Because I'm sure when people are talking about Battlefront 2 and its loot boxes, I'm sure if you scroll down into the comment sections on YouTube and everything else, I'm sure there's people asking for that uh, creator, that content creator, if what their programming, <laughs> what their programming abilities are, and their accreditations, their credentials, basically, and uh, you know where they'd worked before to have that kind of opinion. That's not normal, guys, and that's kind of where I want to move into this. At uh, if you don't know anything about the game, you're kind of trying to figure out the community. Uh, no, no doubt you've heard about the boogeyman that is uh, Derek Smart, and you've heard about these evil, just hellacious people called goons. I mean, they're not even people, right? They're just these these things that exist. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of just give you my opinion, and I could be wrong because God knows what they say when I'm not watching or what when I'm not reading. Uh, the people that I've interacted with that have worn this quote unquote goon label are actually. And God, I know it's going to come bite me in the ass, because especially the ones from the uh, Something Awful Forum, most of them are pretty level-headed, and they will have a nice, polite discussion, and they will discuss things and disagree with you in a polite manner. It's the ones that are frothing at the mouth and just kicking and screaming, temper tantrums, nerd raging, are the are the are basically the Star Citizen community. And there's been so many times I was hoping some of those this, the comments I got, I was just hoping it was just a goon, just just goofing off, you know, just jerking off, just having a ball. And it, it, you, you see the same name on multiple multiple YouTube, and it's it's always praising the game on all the ATV stuff, and then you flip it around, and it's just like that anybody who says anything remotely negative, and it's just God. If it's if it's a goon doing that to me, it's been fun, it's been entertaining. If it is a community, God help us all, because if this if you people are dead serious, and this is the kind of information, and like I said, my favorite was the one where I had a group of guys. Different videos, different people, probably alts. I hope they're alt, alt accounts, because if it's not, if it's actual different citizens using this same tactic, I'm going to cry. 
they were attacking the video games in the background. Yes, not not my discussion, not what I had to say about the game or the development. It was the game in the background and my, my, my B-roll footage, basically. My B-roll footage. They were attacking that. They were so mad that I had talked about the game they loved and their developer that they have such a bond to. They thought that if I play a game, it must be because I love it and I worship it. And if they talk bad about it, it'll hurt me in the same capacity. I, I don't know what to tell you people. Uh, I play games because they're fun. It's it's an exchange. They give me the service of having fun and I pay them money. Uh, if you don't know, that's the same same relationship you have with CIG. You paid them money so they would give you fun. Uh, it's For whatever reason, it's morphed into you give CIG money because of some religious thing. Like it's you don't expect anything in return and if you get it, you'll be happy. I mean, that's, people have said that. Well, I've given them this much money. I don't care if I get anything out of it. I've had just fun. What? It's a game. Not going to change the world. I, I get so sick of people saying, it's going to change the world. It's a game. But anyway, yeah. So this is pretty much my video. I've, uh, and you guys don't understand, like, it, no one's made it this far in the video. But man, I am dying for this thing to work. You have no idea. Like, I want Star Citizen to be the best game ever. I want to dig my heels into it. I, I, I mean, I want it to be one of the games I get into and I just check out. You know, don't worry about the mortgage or like my health issues lately. You know, work sucks, boss sucks, doesn't matter. Check out. Fun. Enjoy myself for a couple hours. It's not going to be that. And I feel like some people are missing that boat. Like they're just, I don't know. They're so, they've got their head so far buried in the sand. And they've, like I said in the other they just plug their ears. I think it's going to go away. It's not going to go away. It's going to get worse. It's going to get a lot worse. And uh, the amount of people that come in and just, like I said, the fact that people would come and brigade my little unknown minuscule channel. Like what the hell is wrong with you guys? If my little, uh, God, I don't even have 200 subs. If my little channel can break this multi-million dollar game from just what I question about it, then either A, I am a lot more influential than I thought, or B, the, the entire project is just doomed to fail. That's all I've got to say. And I had a much longer video plan, and I've taken I don't know how many takes of this, and I'm just blowing it down to the bare, bare minimum. The game's not going to be fun with all the crap they're adding to it. There's not going to be any kind of gameplay loop that doesn't involve your entire life. And second of all, the community has really driven me away from the game. You know, like I said, CIG does some horrendous stuff. And they're milking people and they're preying on people. You know, and there's other YouTube commenters and content creators that uh, they're milking right along with them. The, all they're doing is telling people it's going to be okay. You didn't make a mistake. Look how fun this is going to be. I've even caught a few of them reading line for line, no joke, verbatim, reading theorycraft posts from the archive, from CIG forum slash archive from years ago. I mean, if you want to, I mean, and I'm just, I'm tired of providing evidence. Look, just Google it. Go to, uh, go to Google and you know better what? Go to RSI forum and type in the name of the ship. Whatever ship is just getting ready to come out. You know, if it's going to be a mining ship, type in mining and read through the comments section. After a few months of reading through those, because there's a lot of them, uh, you're going to find a lot of this stuff. And like I said, sometimes they, they, they paraphrase certain posts and it's, it's stuff out of left field. And like I said, that's fine. But when people are reading this crap word for word, passing it off as their own, and they're getting, they're basically preying on people. I mean, there's no, I'm not going to, you cross the line. No. When you read word for word, old forum post and guise it as your own theory crafting. And then on top of getting the view count, you have a Patreon account because you're basically telling people, look, it's okay. Everything's fine. You're not being hoodwinked. You're not, you know, no one's pulling the wool over your eyes. You did a totally cool thing of giving all of your money to these people and trusting them. Don't question them. It's going to be fine. That's preying on people. And uh, I'm not cool with that. And I don't really care. And I'm sure I'm going to get harpooned even more. I mean, like I said before, what are you guys going to do? Not, you, you're just not going to sub to me. You're going to thumb down my video. And I'm, I'm this is going to bite me so bad. But I just want to tell you guys, look, YouTube doesn't care about thumb up, thumb down, like, dislike. Okay, if you if I have a thousand people dislike my videos, all it does for YouTube is say people interacted with this video. It had enough to say they interacted. So honestly, I mean, if you don't know, Google it. Don't trust me. I mean, God knows, don't trust me. Google it. It doesn't, it has no bearing on me. All it does is say that I was influential. So anyway, you all have a good one. It's Monday. Have a good week. I'm out.